What does being prepared for an emergency mean? It means understanding risks in your area. It means knowing what to do and where to get the information you need to keep you and your family safe. It means having a plan and having a preparedness kit that will sustain you for 72 hours. Extreme weather, wildfire, power outages and flooding are emergencies our communities have experienced. In our region, we also have industrial facilities, pipelines and transportation routes and with those, there is potential for a hazardous material release. If you were asked to shelter in place, would you know what to do? If a hazardous material is released into the air, shelter in place is a safety action that protects you. A fire with extreme smoke, a motor vehicle collision, train derailment, industrial accident, and some natural disasters are all situations where you may be advised to shelter in place. Due to the cold temperatures experienced in Alberta and our need to keep warm air in, our houses are built to be relatively airtight. These conditions make our homes ideal for shelter in place. Although these incidents are rare, it is important to know how to shelter in place and protect yourself if needed. While situations such as fires and extreme weather events are highly noticeable, in a hazardous substance or chemical release situation, you may not be able to see, hear or smell the danger. You may be asked to shelter in place when there isn't enough time or warning to safely evacuate, if a release is expected to pass over the area quickly, if the source and nature of release has not been determined, or if you require evacuation assistance. Notification to residents occurs in several ways. The Alberta Emergency Alert System, which uses traditional and social media channels. Other methods include siren systems, telephone notification, municipal websites, and call-in information lines. If you are required to shelter in place, the steps are simple. Bring all people and pets inside. Close and lock all outside windows and doors. Turn down your furnace and turn off appliances that draw outdoor air inside. To stay informed, tune into local radio or TV, call the regional update line, or visit the Alberta Emergency Alert website. It is important to stay sheltered. Schools have emergency response plans that include shelter in place. Family members at work and school should remain at their location and not be brought home. Sheltering in place is basically get inside to a building, close up the doors, close up the windows so that you can keep the good air on the inside and whatever's in the atmosphere that could harm you on the outside. Residents should understand what risks that they face, whether it's a weather-related issue such as a tornado, uh, flooding, power outages, unintended releases for chemical plants, etc. Residents should know what they are so that they can prepare the right kit for them to be able to survive for 72 hours. An emergency preparedness kit should include water and non-perishable foods, a first aid kit, necessary medications, appropriate clothing for weather conditions, a flashlight, candle, if the power goes out, a wind-up or battery-operated radio will help to keep you informed. Remain indoors until you receive an all-clear message. When an all-clear is given by authorities, return appliances to usual settings and open windows for ventilation. It is rare that we will have a major disaster that will cause evacuations and so on, but in fact they do happen. And as a result, it's important that people understand that the county will be ready to respond and that they will expect the residents to be prepared to look after themselves for 72 hours while the most critical needs are taken care of. Everyone has a role in being prepared for emergencies. Make sure you know the emergency response actions in your community by visiting your local municipal website. This safety message is brought to you by Northeast Region Care working together for a safer, more informed community.